Ooh, man. Dash Life is your boy D Dash. What is up? Welcome back to the channel, man. Ooh, today's a special day for your boy, man. Today's a special day. Today is July 18th. Wow. If you don't know already about the title or just whatever, today is my birthday, man. Your boy has turned 28 years old. And wow, that's all I really have to say right now. It's just wow, wow, wow. Um, the time right now is 11.36. That means your boy has about like, what, 20 minutes left to, you know what I'm saying, of, of my day. I feel like, I don't know if like my birthday has always been like a special day for me where it's like, I don't know, we'll get into all that in a minute. But like, you know, there's 28 minutes left into the day and... I just wanted to just do a quick little, I don't even want to call it a podcast anymore, man. I just wanted to call it like a video journal, literally. I just feel like I'm not really talking about something directly. I'm kind of just like venting out like my ideas and my thoughts. And I just want to share that to the world. And today I really wanted to talk about like my journey to becoming 28, you know what I'm saying? And like how to shape me into who I am and everything I learned and experienced, man. And I made like I made notes earlier in the day when I wanted to do this, but it's like, nah, bro, let's just keep it super raw. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Loki had a couple beers, you know what I'm saying? I had a couple brewskis in me now, you know what I'm saying? So all the thoughts and everything is kind of just very blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So if that made any sense, I don't know what blah, blah, blah means, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean your boy is 28 years old now, bro. And it's crazy how like turning on the camera and talking about it kind of makes me a little nervous. And usually I'm not really camera shy no more, man, especially if I'm in my home, you know what I'm saying? My office making videos. I don't usually get camera shy. I really know, I usually know what I want to do and what I want to say. But right now, man, just talking about like myself directly kind of gets a little nerve wracking. So yeah, uh, first and foremost, I mean, hope you guys, I hope you guys are doing well. You know, it's been a hot summer. <laughs> very hot for me personally, man. I just have been in the crib. I go to work. I go home, bro. It's just been too hot for me, bro. I go, to, I get to work and I'm literally sweating, bro. I'm sweating. It's crazy. I bike to work and on my back, my fucking chest, and I get swamp ass quick. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, bro, but I be getting swamp ass. So like, I be already sweated out. That sounds crazy to say, but yeah, nine in the morning, sweated out already. <laughs> um, yeah, man, heat is crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, hope y'all staying hydrated out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be all in that heat like that. If you got to be in the heat, bro, drink your waters. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get in the shade a little bit, cool down a little bit, man, because it is dangerous. But yes, today is July 18th. Your boy was born in 1996, bro. Damn, like, I'm at the age where it's like I'm young, but it's like, nah, bro, you kind of getting up there now, man. You kind of more, you got a little matureness to you now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> today I got the Sonic glasses on. I don't know why I got the sign of glasses on. It's 11.30 p.m. I'm at home. It's dark outside, but I'm in the curb. I'm feeling good. So, yeah, signing glasses are on. And I'm making a podcast or I'm making a video journal or I'm making a video. I don't know what to call these videos anymore, bro. Social media and video content creation is so weird. I don't know what to label my videos anymore. So, anyways, man, I just wanted to talk about, like, just the my journey of becoming... 28 years old I don't know. it's so weird it's so like not that serious but it's also just something i wanted to talk about today to the world i guess man uh just starting back to like being a little kid and just seeing myself now man when i was younger bro i really was like very quiet but i had a lot of ideas as a kid but i didn't really i didn't know how to like verbally or i didn't know how to express it to the world and I just want to say I'm just like very proud of myself of just like getting to the point of showing like my creativity and letting people know that I'm a creative person. Like right, even right now, if you look behind me, bro, like these are ideas in my brain that I created. I think, I think in my first other video, I'm displaying these again, but it's like, I just wanted to show you guys that, uh, who didn't watch that video that like, bro, I, I like, I love art. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look, I don't know if you can see all around, right? I don't want to move the camera, but this like, I just love art and color film. I think it's kind of crazy right now before I started this, I actually finally, finally watched the, the, uh, the Basquiat downtown 81. I finally watched that documentary, bro. And it's like, I don't know what took me so long. It's not even a documentary. I'm sorry. It's just like a little short film, uh, Basquiat made, but 
and I'm called I I call myself Basquiat because I have a I mean I don't call myself Basquiat but like I call myself a Basquiat fan because I have a lot of his art and murals like on my wall in the house and for me not to see that movie it's just like I don't know what what was I doing I don't know but I finally watched that tonight man and it was just very calming you know I don't know just something where kind of like took me away from what I was doing in the moment I was actually painting while I was doing it so that was kind of cool too but it was like a very calming moment of me just like experiencing like an art thing i don't know it's been i feel like it's been a while since i've been in that like space mentally i feel like some, everything's been super busy 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 as of lately and i'm always moving around i really haven't got a chance to like just sit with art and just take things in creatively creatively bro i'm crazy i told you i got a couple brewski egos in me now so i'm your boy talking crazy man uh also i don't think i'm i don't think i'm gonna edit this i'm gonna just gonna give it to y'all straight raw you know what i'm saying usually i like to put a little edits in there chop it up you know what i'm saying make myself like i know what i'm talking about but bro i don't know half of the time bro i don't know what i'm talking about i really don't know what i'm doing and actually that's something that i realized that in these like 28 years of life bro is like there's gonna be times that you don't know what the, is going on bro you don't know what you're doing but like you're just but if you stay in the moment of it all man Oh, it'll work its way out somehow, you know? It's okay. Like, it's okay that you'll know what you're doing. Just have fun with it. Commit to it. Go all the way with it, man. Uh, don't sit here and, like, try to act like you know what you're doing when you really don't. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes have a candid moment. I don't know. If right. Have a can- Again, I don't know what I'm even saying right now, but, like, have, like, a candid moment and be like, yo, bro, I don't know how, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I'm saying. And, like, laugh that off. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, Growing up, bro, like I was super quiet because it wasn't I was scared, but I was like I was, yeah, I was I was scared. I was scared to like m- make a fool of myself. I wanted like not so much to fit in, but I wanted to I wanted to display this person that was had it together, that knew what was going on, who was strong, and who was. I don't know. I always saw myself as someone like who do I see myself? I don't even know who I even saw myself as as a kid, but as someone who was very, not dominant, but someone who knew what they were doing, who was in control, who was brave and confident. And when I didn't have that feeling in me, I would just like, just go to the side and be a fly on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's okay not to know what the hell you're doing, bro. Like it's okay. You know, that's something I learned in these 28 years of life, bro. It's just, You'll figure it out when you figure it out, man. And it's okay not to have it all figured out when you start. Like there's times where like being a content creator now, just from th- from being in this space where it's like, I want to make sure I know how to make this edit before I even start filming. Or I want to make sure I know how to shoot the film. I want to make sure I, I know how to market it. I want to make sure I want to make sure I, I want to know, make sure I know everything. But it's like, dude, like there's so much to learn. You're trying to learn everything and you'll never get started because there's always something to learn you learn this, there's always something to learn from that. And it's always, and there's always room to improve. So like, you're never going to stop improving. That means you're always learning about something. So it's like, if you keep trying to do that, you're always stuck in that mindset. You will never get started, bro. So just do it literally like right now, bro, like with this, with this podcast or as I don't even know what to call it, but it's like, dude, I'm tired of having ideas in my brain and not like let them, and not showing them to the world because I'm scared or I don't know what I'm doing or all these extra thoughts I don't really mean anything bro I just want to fucking create something I just wanted to just have fun with what I want to do and show it to the world whether the world likes it or not whether the world doesn't like it or not whether it just sits in abyss and goes nowhere cool like that's fine as long as I made it for myself and it made me happy in that moment that's all that really matters bro so like if I could like whoever's watching whoever's 30 years old 50 years old 18 years old 8 years old bro literally do what it is that you want to do. But you want to make a, a Minecraft video, you'll know what you're doing. All you have is your laptop or your phone. Just make the Minecraft video, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got you got a little you got a laptop, you know what I'm saying? Your laptop don't got the best RAM or the best GPU and you're doing stuttering, bro. Do what your PC can do. I remember when I was editing off of a a a donated office PC. Like my first like a hundred videos were off an of office like PC that was donated to me for free, bro. And I remember I was like staying up to three in the morning waiting for my video to render when I started rendering it like at 9 p.m. because there was so much edits in it. I was trying to do too much and the, my PC was a crashing, had to start over. Like, but the, that process of, process of me like making those videos, bro, was just so fun. And it's like, I feel like I lost that for a little bit, but it's like, 
you can hear it in my tone now. It's like, I'm so excited to just like, I don't, like, I don't care anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I just want to just create shit. I just want to, it's not even so much creating. It's just me just doing the things that I want to do and not having this filter of the world on me anymore, bro. I'm tired of like this, having this extra lens and this lens is filtering, filtering out everything that I actually want to do when we want to finally get ready to create something. It's just like not what I want. So I don't put it out. That feeling was, that that feeling honestly was on me for like two, I will say two to three, I don't know, for a while now. I want to say two to three years, which is sad to say, but I guess I feel like that feeling had been on me for so long, bro. Like I'm trying to over edit a video. Um, I've, I've made so many videos, bro, that I haven't like released. I've wrote so many ideas down that I haven't put out. Uh, I actually have a short film like filmed, bro. I filmed it. I feel like I went in on it and I pressured myself so much to, to the point where like I didn't I had a schedule right and I didn't like commit to the schedule so it's like bro F the film now it's like bro what like bro I have under a thousand subscribers on YouTube what am I trying to stick to a script for like I'm about to get paid thousands of dollars for this film which is like we we'll probably will probably only get like under 100 views so like why am I stressing myself out about stuff like that bro like if you're a content creator, bro, if you're a creator, artist, anything, you want to do anything, honestly, business-wise, marketing, salesman-wise, just fucking do this shit, bro. Literally, just fucking do this shit, bro. Sorry if I'm cussing now, but it's like, I'm sick of how, like, the world, and I want to I just, I want to blame it on social media so bad, because I feel like that's, like, the main culprit of it all, and just this, just the way society is now, bro, I'm just sick of it, like, controlling our natural way of thinking bro like each person has their own set of creativity each person has their own lens of the world has their own mindset bro and i feel like the way the internet is it's making us have one it makes us all think the same the same way about certain things and have the same opinion about something and it's like dude like no like i don't think the same way how everyone else does like for example bro like i get it the not not like us kendrick D drake thing bro like yeah, but like I'm a Drake fan, so I can't listen to Drake anymore. Drake is like canceled for the rest of the summer. What the? F what, what am I? What am I doing right now? I don't. I really don't even care about what they're even talking about. What they're beefing about. I like the songs Drake makes. So why am I not trying to listen to Drake because it's beef? It's it's weird. Like, or why am I not allowed to listen to Drake? Or yo, Drake canceled, bro. We ain't doing that, Drake, bro. I don't like. I, I don't know. Like, uh, it's just so weird how like that's how things are nowadays, and. That example is like so dumb, but it's like that is it is it is true. Like some people will stop listening to Drake because this Kendrick beef or whatever, and not like us. And Drake's a clown. It's like, bro, what are we even doing anymore? You know? Whoa, what were we talking about again? I turned twenty eight, right? Damn, yeah. Uh, <laughs> twenty eight years around the sun, bro. Jeez. Uh, for me, like when it's my birthday, man, I really don't like all like the extra attention and da da da. da you know what I'm saying? I really like to just. I always been like this. I don't know why. I like to kind of just like go back and it's kind of reflect on myself and celebrate myself. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it's a it's an event for you. Like it's not like it's Christmas and like it's family and Easter and all Thanksgiving. Like no, this is your day. Like this is the day you were born. So like that's how I kind of see I see it. And it's like I kind of reflect and let it go back to me. And like, kind of just like reflect on where I came from with certain memories, how I experienced the year and things, what I was going through and how I overcame them. And damn, like I'm still here, you know, and I'm just grateful. I'm humble for all the people that I met who still with me, who wish me happy birthday. It's like, bro, someone went out their way to wish you happy birthday and let them know that they care, they're thinking about you and want you to have a good day. Like that means a lot to me, you know? It's like sometimes I don't really think about think about that, you know, like damn, some points like there's people in this huge world, like me, I'm just this one person, and there's so many people out there who think about you every single day. And it's like, bro, god damn, that's cra so crazy, and I'm just so grateful and blessed to have that. So shout out to my family and my friends, bro. Really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, 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 for real, for real. And yeah, man, it's just like again, I was like, I like I like to celebrate the day, I like to reflect on my reflect on my life and who I am, and just thinking how how I was this kid who became this person today. And it's like, if I could say anything to that kid, man, I would just say, <laughs> I 
I would tell myself that uh, it's going to be okay, man. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Yeah. Like even now, like life isn't what I wanted it to be when I was that age. But I'm pretty sure that kid will be so proud of this person today. We'll be so proud of everything we endured, everything we didn't endure, um, the things we learned, the things we've seen, the things we laughed and cried, got angry about. That kid will be, I am for sure that kid will still accept me today, you know? Very exciting, you know what I'm saying? Very exciting time for myself, and I just can't wait to get started as if as if like tomorrow. Like I'm gonna finish this video, edit it. I'm not even really I'm just gonna just gonna post it, upload it. I'm now I'm kinda rambling, so I'm sorry guys, but I'm just I'm very excited for myself, excited for what the world has to offer. And and I'm again I'm thankful for you guys even tuning into this randomness of of a person, you know? <laughs> uh, again, thank you. Peace.